hey guys welcome back to my channel i'm really happy to be bringing you a new and beautiful tutorial again so today we shall be cutting this beautiful twist dress you see and i'm going to be explaining in the simplest detail possible so as you can see i already drafted out this beautiful basic bodice pattern and if you don't know how to do this i already dropped a link on my description box and i'll be ex where i explained totally how to do this so please go to the description box and if you still don't understand drop me a comment you know i always reply so i already marked out the bust the under bust the waist and the hip as you can also see i already drafted out the neck and the armhole so it's a full basic body pattern a full basic body pattern okay let's get to work let's get to work now so um as you can see this is actually um just a piece of paper and as usual we folded it into two before drafting so we shall be using um the center line is already it already has a center line we shall be marking out that center line because it's important because we need it to um, draft the twist dress we need to locate the center point for each so now all we need to do next is to mark out 12 inches at your left hand side it depends on where your left is oh my own left hand side is at that side so just understand what i'm saying mark your um, 12 inches at one side and um, I will tell you what to mark at the other side. So 12 and a half or 13 inches is fine. So I marked out 12 inches because the person is not too fat. The person is just moderately uh, built. So this is 12 and a half. And at the other side, I shall be marking out 10 and a half. So please don't forget, this uh, measurement I'm giving to you can be used for anybody. Big, small, fat, medium, slim, anybody. So um, this is um, 12 inches marked at my left hand side and at my right hand side, I'm marking out 10 inches. It depends on how you place your um, fabric or your paper. So if it's, it falls at your left hand side, then mark it at your left hand side. Just understand what I'm saying. So one side has to be 12 and a half and the other has to be 10 and a half. So on the waistline, line now we are marking out three inches sideways from the midpoint so the midpoint is the line and we marked out three inches sideways as you can see we marked it towards the part where we marked 10 inches downwards please do you understand if you don't understand please just rewind the video a little i'm trying to explain as much as possible three inches sideways to where we marked 10 and a half downwards that's what we marked so now we shall just be joining the points this thing is very easy very easy this is the simplest way you can get it the simplest way i know people are always scared of um it's too dress because of slash because of this because of that but this one is actually the simplest so you see that all we have done now is just um, to mark out two things and now we are joining the points. After that, we are almost done. So we are marking out the points now. So the next major thing to do now is to just, um, okay, I'm just going to mark out um, the waistline. I'm going to extend the waistline to the other side. You know, um, we folded it when we we're drawing it, when we we're marking out the basic body so we could not extend it. So I'm just going to extend it because we need it. So I'm just marking, um, dotting the lines. This is the waistline. It's still the waistline i just extended it um towards the other end so i'm going to measure the same thing i'm going to measure what it is from that 12 inch mark to the waistline whatever i get which is for example now here i got three and a half i'm going to mark that same thing downwards from that waistline do you understand whatever you get from the waistline to that 12 and a half point just bring it down to the hip part so that's all we need to do and the next one we are going to do the same thing from 10 and a half to the waistline whatever you get i got six inches so i'm going to transfer six inches down from that waistline to my hip point so do you understand whatever you get up take and transfer down as simple as abco you know that me, I'm a mistress of easy sewing. So as simple as ABC. Transfer what you have up, down. And we are almost done. <laughs> I'm saying we are almost done all the time. Yes, that's because really we are almost done. So um, now we need to actually go ahead and join since we have since we have marked it out so um let's just go ahead and join all the points. Join from um the three inch mark on the waist to 
the points that were marked out all we just did just to recap is to transfer the same thing that's up down the same measurement up down so let's join the points now this is very very easy very easy and if there's anything you don't understand if there's something very confusing please let me know write me on the comment section i do reply i know it's not easy to reply all messages but i'll try my best to do that and also please subscribe so that you can get notification for more beautiful ones subscribe guys this thing this thing is what motivates us to do more videos so subscribe now just click the subscribe button for me click it and click like button if you like it and i'm sure you will like it so let's go ahead and cut now so we're just going to cut um this piece out very easy we just need four pieces as you can see i did not do plenty slash yo me i told you guys that i'm mistress of easy sewing i did not do plenty slash all we just did now is four pieces so four pieces just four pieces so very easy so this is what it looks like after cutting it out and all we need to do now just one more thing we are going to do to each one is to open it up we just need to open it up so that we can have um, space for that um that gathers that looks like um pleats which is not pleat and it's not gathers it's just extra fabric so we're just going to be opening it up for extra fabric that we are going to fold in so you will see when i'm done sewing you understand what i'm saying but we just need to open it so just put your uh, scissors at the tip or your ruler at the tip of where um, the lines were joined and then make an angle any angle any angle of your choice just make an angle just make an angle this one does not have any paparazzi just make an angle make an angle so just don't make it straight so you, you'll be able to open it up that's it and please don't cut it off finally leave a little about one inch so that um, it doesn't fall off or just um, get missing so this is already marked out so we can just follow the same line so we are doing the same thing we are cutting it open but please do not forget to don't cut it off because this piece can get missing so just leave it leave a little about one inch at the tip so that it doesn't um, fall off or get missing so you don't get confused so just we are opening it this is the third one we are opening now and then we are going to open the last one the last one we are going to make an angle as well please there is no particular measurement i did not measure anything for the angle i just placed my ruler and made sure it's not straight i just made an angle if you make an angle, it, you'll be able to open it up very well. So you will see what I'm talking about in the next phase. Now we're going to be opening it up. If you make it straight, it's, it's going to be very difficult for you to open it. So that's why I made an angle. So just make, a, make an angle of your choice. If you want to make 90 degrees, make 90 degrees. If you want to, please don't make 360 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> so we're just making an angle, um, a reasonable angle. So that's it. No particular measurement. Just use your discretion. So now we're going to be cutting it out. You can see if I want to slide it more, I can. It all depends. So this is what it looks like. The four piece has been opened up. Everything opened up now. So we just need to add more fabric. So we're going to be adding, uh, we're going to be opening it up six inch each. So what I do here, if you like, you can use fabric for this but please me i don't like to waste fabric fabrics are expensive and money is important <laughs> so i use paper for this before i transfer to the fabric so i just i'm just going to open each piece six inch wide so i'm going to mark six inch wide on the paper below and then place it on top and pin it or paper tape it it all depends um for this tutorial i did not have a paper tape so i went ahead to pin it it was quite difficult because the paper is quite uh, very light it's very very light so it was difficult to pin but if you have paper tape and you are doing this at home you are very lucky just paper tape it together so I, as you can see i'm using the i'm using my normal um, fabric pin for it so i just marked six inches just six i just opened it up six inches wide and then i'm pinning it at that six inch point i'll also be using the marker to show the six inch point now so you understand and so that i don't get confused as well so just six inches it's six inches i already marked it open so it will be easy when i write it down or when i mark it out so i'll be able to um cut easily so all we just need the reason we open those things up is to cut it out and open it six inch each single piece is going to be six inch wide six inch wide
so we are going to do the same thing for um, the other piece as well this is open six inches wide as well we're just going to be marking the point six inch and i'll be using a ruler to draw it as soon as i do that i'll pin it down if you have paper tape like i said please use your paper tape that is actually very nice So the, this is the third one, um, we're going to be opening it up 6 inch as well and then we're going to be marking it with um, the paper below 6 inch wide or we are just doing it just to open it up so your fabric can actually have that um, pleat like look so that your gown will have that pleat like look without this you will not be able to form your twist dress so 6 inch no addition no sub no subtraction so this works for everybody tall big slim anybody everybody is beautiful so six inch works for everybody we are doing this is the last piece and we also opened it six inch wide as well So at the end of the day, this is what it looks like. We have opened each one, each piece, six inches wide. So we have it open six inches wide. So this is what it looks like. And believe me, we are done with cutting patterns. This is the full pattern for your twist dress. On a normal day, if it was done on fabric, then you have your twist dress already made <laughs> so we shall be transferring to the fabric as well so you do not have to worry about that as well i'll be sewing, showing you the full detailed sewing part as well so i'm going to transfer it now we are using a partially stretchy fabric as you can see it's not too stretchy and it's not stiff so please do not use a stiff fabric you can use a lacquer fabric you can use uh, a polyester fabric as long as it's stretchy but please do not use a stiff fabric that's actually not going to, to work for you so it's better to use a stretchy fabric the stretchier the better this is just a normal uh, fabric and i'm just i'm transferring the pattern and cutting it out so please do not forget that's very important do not use a stiff fabric if you use an ankara fabric I don't know what it will look like oh okay so um, let's just go ahead and transfer the other pattern the first one has been cut out so I'll be keeping it aside and also do not forget to notch the points the points um, the first and second point of the six inch I mean one from one point to the other the six inch just notch it down because this is where you're going to be joining to the other ones so you do not get confused or so you do not forget where the points are so please notch so let's transfer the second one as well and we're going to transfer each um, pattern to the fabric and cut and please like i said do not forget to notch do not forget to notch it's very important We are notching all the six inches point is very important please
guys please if you have not subscribed please go ahead and subscribe and also click the notification bell that way i'll you get easy notification whenever i upload a video this is very important to me and also do not forget to drop your comment at the comment section it's very important i need to know your feedback i need to hear from you i need to know what you understand what you don't and what you would like me to do better please that is very very important to me as well so um i just took um number one and number four and i'm going to be joining it together i just um i'm showing you with the paper so that you do not get confused i labeled it one two three four if you remember so um i took number one and number four that's you can see it the top part and one of the sides so i took it and at the six inch point i'm joining them together i'm just going to pin it down with um, my uh, fabric pin so that's what i'm doing now i'm pinning it down please do not forget at the six inch point that's why i told you to notch it so you do not forget so i just pinned it now and um, the last two piece which is number three and number two i'll be pinning them together as well so at the six inch point very important pin together at the six inch point and we shall be joining it and on the machine and this is what it looks like after joining and using the um, pressing iron to press open so the next thing we shall be doing now is to just um, twist it with our hands and pin so i'll be showing you how to twist twisting is easy this is my right hand and i'm holding my right hand then my left hand so i'm just going to cross over just like i'm tying a bow just hold one part and with the other hand and the other one with the other hand and then cross over just like your tiny bow very easy very easy as soon as you do that then you're good to go you can go and pin and then take it to the sewing machine so you see it's already forming it's already looking like our twist dress that we want it's already looking beautiful 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 <laughs> so all we need to do now is to pin it down because if you take it like this to the machine i'm telling you in the next two seconds you'll forget what is supposed to go to what uh, or what is where you're supposed to join to the other so it's better you pin down so you do not forget so i hope you got how i twisted it and if you don't just rewind a little it's very very easy very easy easier than it looks safe so um please do not forget um that we measured um from the tip 12 and a half inches so do not take it to to the tip um to the shoulder line or the armhole line so at that 12 inch point is where i'm um, pinning from so just don't forget make sure you notch all parts is very important if you don't notch then that's when you have a problem about forgetting or um, missing one piece or the other so as long as you notch every part it will be easy to just um, put it and pin it together and join it easily so this is what it looks like just after pinning imagine when we take it to the sewing machine and so ah it's already looking good so um we're just going to transfer it to the sewing machine now and i'll be joining all ends um don't forget please be very careful while you're joining don't um, hold more than at least half an inch it should not be more than half an inch as you can see here so just um seam just the seam allowance should not be more than half an inch join it and make sure you join tip to tip tip to tip is very important so that there will not be a big hole in front of your dress you don't want any big hole in front of your dress so we want the twist to look so real we want people to see your twist in front of your dress and be like ah how did this person cut this twist dress so how did this person sew it though so there's no big hole though. you don't even know where the twist is coming from so after you're done sewing so please be careful not more than half an inch and also make sure it's um, tip to tip you sew and make sure all edges are well closed don't leave any part opened so let's just go ahead and finish up the sewing <laughs> Thank you. 
i'm just closing all the edges you can see everything is closed now i'm checking for any open edge if there's any opening at all i'll make sure i take it back to the machine and close so this is what it looks like after joining i've not ironed though i've not even pressed it at all i've not ironed it at all i'm not taking it to the pressing iron to iron and look at what it already looks like look at it very beautiful so imagine when i iron it out it will be so beautiful uh, anyway you already saw <laughs> you've already seen the final result so i don't need to even make mouth egg again so let's just uh, make sure we iron it and then and then go and cut the back nobody should ask why I'm not, i didn't cut the back on camera i believe everyone knows how to cut the basic bodice pattern for the back if you don't know please just go to the description box it's there and please subscribe oh guys subscribe oh you are doing me a favor if you subscribe and also it will help you to be able to see more videos because from now on every friday you'll be getting videos from me i love you guys Yes, I love you guys. Bye. See you guys.